series. It is a pleasure to welcome you all here. Um, it's brilliant that we hear the good news that there's no strike, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about rushing out and um, catching bus home, a very long journey. Also, there's no storm at the moment, so it's pretty good for uh, tonight's entertainment. Uh, we're very lucky. Uh, I'm Zhang Biyu, the Deputy Director of the Taiwan uh, Center of Taiwan Studies. After the warm-up of last night, the documentary we're showing tonight is the Chai Wan Matchup Woman. We have the film's director, Zhong Quan, here to take your question later. And yes, thank you for coming all the way. Thank you. And um, I will later let uh, Zhong Quan say a few words after my uh, introduction. Um, Zhong Quan started his studies in documentary at the Beijing Film School in 2003. Before this time, he worked in advertise, advertising and digital marketing in China, and he won quite a lot of international awards for his designs and, uh, and his advertising work. He's quite proud of it, actually, although <laughs> you know, he tried to be calm about it. Um, coming from this kind of background, it's quite interesting. We can see his work actually shows this kind of quite professional light of his work. So you can see it's very different uh, in contrast to uh, what we saw uh, previously in this series. Very different in styles and uh, quite, especially later on, for example, like this film, he got quite a lot of funding because he's good work, of course. So it's very sleek, very professional and very beautiful to look at. So, you know, it's uh, as well as uh, and to, sorry, as well as in, insightful and uh, interesting, but also very beautiful. Right. Um, as we mentioned last night, the common thread linking the three films directed by Zhong Quan is sports. Um, tonight's film, The Chai Wan Matchup Woman, is almost like a sequel of last uh, night's film against the background of the 2008 presidential elections and also the Olympic Games. Uh, Zhong Quan followed the Taiwan Wu supporting team, that's called Taiwan Jia Yu Dui, uh, and its two major organizers to cheer along the Taiwanese athletes and the Chinese Taipei, Zhonghua Taipei team, uh, both at home and abroad. The film focuses on the fans in the sporting events, examines sporting nationalisms, and finally questions the idea of nationalism after uh, filming a bloody protest in Taipei. This film has been awarded Agavi, I hope I, I pronounce it rightly, Agavi Award for the Best Documentaries in 2010, Oaxaca International Film Festival in Mexico. On behalf of the Center of Taiwan Studies, we would like to use the opportunity to thank, as usual, um, all the support that we have received from Ministry of Culture mm -hmm. and also the public uh, um, television service and in particular the generous donation of Dr. Samuel Ng. Without this support, we would not have been able to put on so many interesting and, and, and memorable events. So now, before we start the film, I, I think uh, Zhong Tian would like to welcome you uh, with a few words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's very pleased to be here to share with you his work. And that's it. <laughs> How many of you were here yesterday? You can see. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for you know turning up as well. Okay. Any questions? Wow. <laughs> I expect more questions. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah. My question is, uh, I'm curious about the. Um, uh, audience response uh, to uh, uh, to the 
to this film, and also the uh, um, the affair of three cities. Um, what kind of um, response did you get? Was there did, was it popular with certain political groups? Um, because it's very very difficult in Taiwan to make a film on a political subject. Uh, it's very difficult to be uh, seen as being neutral. You mean? Domestic audiences. Uh, domestic the, Taiwanese audiences. Yes. Taiwan观众的那个反应是怎么样? Oh, 这个纪录片在台湾开始放映的时候是二零零九年。那那个时候台湾蓝绿之间是非常对立的，所以放映这个片后来其实是被画上了蛮大的色彩，所以其实。大概在零九一零年后，公共电视就没有再重播过了。嗯，零九一零以后就没有了。对，我记得是一零年初还有放过，后后来就没有再放过了。等于有点就被冷冻起来。嗯，好像我好像就要这呃这个版本跟我原来
，其实你对你的认同，它其实也是一种宗教的信仰。Okay. 那我当时，当时就不是很希望那个音乐是太中国或者是或者是太西方， mm-hmm. 所以后来选择了一个印度的配乐。那印度其实就有一点中西混淆的一种感觉，又是有点宗教神秘感。Mm-hmm. 那今天这个后来就是有比较好一点的。制作的一些预算，公共电视就有帮助，所以制作上会比较精致一点。嗯嗯 ，OK。Um, yesterday, if you were here, you you will notice that、uh, he used quite a lot of、uh, Indian music, sitar, um, sitar music. The reason why was、uh, he want to, uh, not to pick up particular、uh, association. I mean, culturally, it's very Taiwanese or very Chinese. So using a Seemingly quite exotic, but uh, uh, but not you don't have a direct association with China or Taiwan, but、uh, bringing certain kind of a, a mystical feeling about it. But at the same time, he also said that he believe sorry he thinks that、uh, Indian music sometimes bring up this kind of a deep religious sense of uh, uh, um, of um, self and also have this kind of association with、uh, belief. So he felt that identity is a kind of belief. So using that,、uh, doing he's trying to do this indirect way of、uh, in, implying certain kind of、uh, strong sense of something, and、um, so it is not too Chinese nor、uh, too Western. And today's music,、uh, he said, it's because、uh, it was funded by a、uh, public. Uh, television service, so as you can see, it's very uh, um, uh, sophisticated and quite a lot of money play、uh, being put into this、uh, production. Hmm. I would expect some students ask some questions. Oh yes, please. Um, am I right in saying you were making that for about five or six years? And、um, who proposed the idea, and what inspired you?、Um, it, 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 there's a big difference in the subject from from the creativity world to to what you're to what you're doing here.、Um, it's, it's it's lovely that you can do that crossover. What sorry? What do you mean by from? Creativity to to the work. Because he makes a lot of lots of advertising. Oh, okay. Um, and the、uh, I really admired your work. It it was really beautiful, really really well put together. Yeah. So the question is, um, um, what, who proposed the idea? Where did inspiration come from, and why? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Um, 你看起来似乎是花了五六年的时间制作这些电影。那么你的 idea 是哪里来的？那么呃呃，尤其是从你这样广告的背景，从那样子的呃做创作的人，怎么样呃，怎么样将你这个呃呃创意性的呃创作呃生涯转转到这种比较呃思考性的 ，Yeah, more. 呃，思考性的呃创作，可不可以讲一下？我觉得就是因为一个是我那时候比较年轻，然后我很早就到了北京去读书，那又不是像一般只是去工作啊，然后可能跟大陆的本身那边的文化会还是有一点距离。那我是读书也好，甚至求学，甚至谈恋爱，都在那个地方，在北京，所以我是很深入在那个地方生活。至今也至至呃，到现在我自己也是在北京，哦，所以、呃、北京等于像是我另外一个家一样，我对那里有是很深的情感，在北京。所以其实我的创作来源就是全部都来自于我。很深入的在那边的生活，那但是就是
，嗯，我我比如说我我是一个台湾台湾长大的小孩，那我每一次入境到大陆的时候，在那个海关的时候，我都会看到两个那个那个关卡。一个叫做中国公民通道，然后另外一个叫做外国人通道。那其实我每一次在到北京也好，或者是进到大陆任何一个地方也好，我都要经过这个通道。那我身为一个台湾人，呃，我每次经过这个通道的时候，就会有一种问题产生，那就是认同。哦，所以这些点点滴滴的感受。呃，就是我的创作的来源。OK， 嗯，呃、um, ，When he was 呃、uh, ，When he went to、uh, Beijing to study, actually he he was very young. Wow,、well, he's still young. And、uh, he said, um, not only he worked there, he studied there. He he、uh, had girlfriends there, and、uh, for him, it is not like、um, a Taiwanese businessman. Really, he he lived there. For for very long time, and he has sort of immersed himself in that sort of environment, so it is part of him as well. And for him, Beijing is like another home for him, and there's a very deep affection about this city. And although he's a he said I'm a Taiwan child, I'm a Taiwan Taiwanese child, grew up in Taiwan. I love this place. But whenever you, 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 you try to switch your identity between two, and he said whenever he left Taiwan uh, and uh, uh, entered the, the、uh, Chinese soil, when you are in customs, you look at two entries, two different identities. One is Chinese citizens, one is foreign citizens, and which side you chose. Today, when we were talking. Be, uh, we talked before this、um, meeting. Actually, he he told me the first time he he actually went to the foreigners' <laughs> uh, uh, entry and actually being told off、uh, because he's holding Tai Bao Zheng, the Taiwanese uh, patriot uh, certificate or permit. Sorry. So for him, every day he encountered this kind of、um, sort of a dilemma. This kind of identity confusion. So for him, this embodied everything he talk about or think about whenever he encountered the issue of identity is which one to choose, and you know switching from Taiwanese 小孩 to the Chinese citizen, you know it's quite a confuse, confusing、uh, experience. And for him, that's the I where the inspiration comes from. Yeah. What do you mean? You mean now he has a particular identity, so there's a turning point, or? How 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 did he build up the idea? You mean creative, creatively, or or just? Ah, okay. I see what you mean. Um. 你你你这有了这样的 idea 或这样的 confusion 啊、yeah. 呃、这样的困惑，你这个作品是怎么来的？我记得你上 sorry， 我上次看到你的一个访问里头，你有说故事是长出来的。嗯，对。OK， 可不可以 evac 呃稍微多说一点啊<咳>？呃，我这一部纪录片是延伸上一部，就是你们昨天看的那个台北金枝比赛。那我当时就是希望说。找到一种新的视角，然后他讲两岸的关系。那因为过去台湾的纪录片讲到大陆的两边的关系，大部分都是讲呃中国新娘啊，或者是台台商啊，或者是像台湾有些老兵可能回到大陆去探亲之类的。那我觉得这些题材其实都很感人，也很精彩，但是呃他比较老了哦，然后也。比较是我父母那一辈的人会比较有兴趣，那到我这一代，我觉得好像我都了解了，不需要再多跟我说这些了吧？那有没有一些故事或者角度是属于我这一代会去想的，或者是现在进行式的？所以我当时就想用运动这个角度去去
去切入。那当时就观察到了，哎，台湾人在看球赛的时候，对于呃对大陆都会有一个情节，就是你绝对不管任何的比赛都不能够输给中国。哦，那我就从这个角度上就感觉很有意思。哦，所以我就开始从运动的角度去切入，这样子。OK， 嗯 ，Right， Thank you， 嗯、um, ，This particular film。I mean, tonight is the sequel of the previous night, of course, and the reason why he chose this particular angle was because he felt um, there, there, there have been so many different uh, either documentaries or a different kind of uh, art form uh, exploring the issues of like a Chinese bride marrying a, a Taiwanese man or a Taiwanese business. A businessman in, in, in mainland China, or stories about uh, the old Chinese veteran who lived uh, settled in Taiwan and went home to visit their uh, uh, families. There were quite a lot of this kind of stories and uh, quite a lot of films about this. But the problem is, he felt it sort of belonged to his parents' generation. It's something uh, belonged to the past for him. As a younger generation filmmaker, he felt he wanted to find something belong to him, a, a new angle to look at across straight relations. And uh, um, so when he looked around, around his envi environment, he really felt uh, a sport is such a good angle to, to, to uh, uh, you know, bring the audience with him to look face to face to this kind of uh, very contentious issue uh, with uh, a touch of uh, lightheartedness, could be, or quite heavy heartedness. But then he said he felt, uh, he found whenever he saw in sporting events, uh, Taiwanese usually have a, a, a partic particular kind of anti sino anti-Chinese complex. And this, we have to win, we have to beat them. If you fight someone else, or you, you compete with some, some other countries, that won't show that much. Do you want to carry on? Oh, oh and also I remember, uh, I, I remember uh, Zhong Quan was uh, talking about something in other media. He did say he, um, he doesn't set out to talk about particular thing. The story grew with, it, with the, the process of filming. 所以你你的你的你拍摄故事是跟着你的拍摄过程而成长的，是长出来的。对自己，像我拍之前我也不知道这个这个 slow slow 杨会参与到政治。嗯嗯，原来以为就是很简单的，我就是要去北京拍这些加油。嗯，然后没想到他参与了之后，就整个后面就变成变成好像很很正党的。Mm. Okay. Um, for example, um, the story grew by itself, and uh, um, when he started filming, he didn't know um, the Miss Yang, uh, Slow Yang, Yang Huiru, uh, uh, took part in political events and uh, actually quite active uh, before he started the, the, the project. So, you know, he originally just wanted to uh, follow them and have a very simple uh, uh, task of mm. following the, the uh, sporting event and mm. see how Taiwanese cheer for themselves. But then uh, gradually, the, you know, two eccentric characters just, you know, have their own story to, to, to tell. Mm. Yes. Anyone? Yeah. Out of high Hey, I think Chinese students should, <coughs> should, should ask some questions, please. <laughs> Sorry, before that. Okay, right. Sorry. Um, I mean, I thought there was a very interesting contrast in the, the, the two films, today and yesterday. One yeah. of them, yesterday was the way that, um, uh, comparing the way that the Chinese fans and the Taiwanese fans reacted to uh, defeat. Um, but um, what I thought was quite interesting about today's film was the, uh, the you up here. Um, mm. Quite a lot in the, in the film. We have the Q and A session. In, maybe it looks like in, in the US, yeah. and also you appear right at the end. Um, so here it looks actually like there's a lot of similarity this time between China and Taiwan. So we've got the police brutality mm. 
uh, in the uh, in the Chinese setting in 2004, mm -hmm. and then in Taiwan in, in 2008. So I wondered one why you decided to to appear yourself and to end in that way. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, 今天跟昨天晚上的比赛 你出现了很多次，比如说你做总结，你呃，忽然之间觉得很，呃，因为通常做纪录片的人是尽量能够中立跟不出现的，然后你还把那个呃被跟监的那个放在最后，所以他说你为什么是这样的安排，为什么这样
of tell us what, but I suppose there's quite a lot of uh, political pressure or something. Mm. And he, he said, look at the film. Uh, we have seen quite a lot of uh, protests. Uh, I went to Beijing, I went to uh, New York. Uh, I was uh, being followed by the securities uh, in, in Beijing uh, constantly. I didn't feel very um, safe. And uh, at some point, the pressure was so great, he was considering giving up. Um, and also he was wondering why he, he was doing it. He was saying, you know, just for some, some artwork, is it worth it? And, um, and also because it was funded by public uh, television service, um, they called him from Taipei and said, if you felt it's very difficult, it doesn't matter, Do not, you don't have to finish it and uh, just come home and uh, you don't have to, because just before uh, the Olympic, uh, so he tell, they told him, you, you don't even need to film that, don't worry, just come back. Uh, then he had a thought, he said, mm, if I don't insist, carry on and I will regret all my life, so he carried on. And he said he felt very lucky, he managed to really uh, got all the material and film all the, uh, the events and the things he wanted to see. But the problem is, once he got back to Taipei, he faced the protest in Taipei Street, and uh, that was the uh, protest against uh, Chen Yunling's visit for the first time in Taipei. And uh, he said, of course, he understand, especially after this film, he felt that uh, he understand the topics on cross strait relations uh, uh, is probably not very well chosen because they never pleased anyone. Mm -hmm. The only thing uh, he got was being pigeonholed. Uh, um, people would think that he probably more pro PRC or maybe pro uh, um, DPP, who knows. <coughs> but the thing is, he felt at the beginning, the initial uh, uh, um, motive was very simple. He, he felt, because he, he lived and studied and, 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 and befriend both sides, and he got more resources and understandings than anyone else, well, uh, most people, and uh, he felt it almost like fate, he should make this film. <laughs> And, and, and good, uh, we are very lucky because he did uh, decide to insist uh, to carry on and, and eventually finish this. And he said, uh, uh, answering uh, David's question, it's not because he's you know, self-indulgent and put loads of him in the film. Uh, it's just because um, he felt, I can't, I can't remember, uh, <笑>不是自恋然后嘞没有我其实就后来自己拍自己是实在是对比我零四年在呃台北京的那个公园体育场然后我我万万没有想到我所出生的在一个好像很自由很应该是很民主应该是不会有这样的暴动出现的台湾
不一样的角角度的一些两岸的一些故事，其实目的就是让台湾也好，大陆也好，不同的观众看到双方的一些故事。为什么我要让自己深陷在这些呃，甚至被跟监啊，甚至有一天我也许我也被遣返，我甚至我永远不能再入境中国这样子哦。那个我那里有带有多少我的回忆哦，跟我的朋友。在同学都在那里，但是我还是很坚持，告诉我自己，不管怎样，我要把它做完，这样。OK， 哇，嗯 ，The reason why he put himself there was to contrast the, the first film,、uh, the protest uh, um, and the, uh, uh, the that after match. Uh, uh,、um, uh, The confrontation between the police and the,、uh, the audience in 2004, but of course it's a very different scenario, and he felt quite confused. He said he remembered that day、um, why this is a place I was grew up. I grew up, and I was made to believe this sort of thing will never happen to me or my my fellow countrymen. And、uh, he remembered that day. He was very upset. He couldn't hear very well after that because、uh, all the horns,、mm. uh, because of very loud horns,、uh, being blown all day long. And、uh, he said he because of the、uh, convenience of、uh, filming the the, the the scene, he was wearing a T-shirt and a short.、Mm. And when he went back home, he felt really probably quite lousy. So and he went into the shower. And uh, uh, quite upset. Then he started to take a shower, and he saw he got blood on his uh, uh, feet, uh, ankle, uh, ankle,、mm -hmm. and and the knees.、Mm -hmm. And he was saying, "Oh, I think maybe it's because I scraped myself somewhere, or when I was kneeling down or something." But then when he、uh, washed it down, he realized there's no wound on his feet, and he realized the blood. Belong to someone else,、mm. and he said he couldn't help himself、uh, crying、mm. from that point.、Mm. And、uh, I think、um, then he he did say、uh, the reason why he did this or or making these films was to try to pursue an angle. It's very different from the conventional angle about you know、uh, two sides joined together or、uh, um, um, cross strain marriage. His point, his aim was trying to bring different audiences together, and trying to let each other see different viewpoints. And he said he didn't want to one day being a、uh, uh, blame for.、Um, sorry, he didn't want to have this a、uh, uh, possibility of one day that he he won't be able to get into mainland China because there he has many friends. Good memories and good friends、uh, and and good teachers, and he did mention before this. He was saying he didn't feel when he was studying in 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 Beijing,、uh, people treated him、uh, differently. They are not as undemocratic、uh, as we Taiwanese believed,、mm -hmm. and uh, um, all these friends, teachers in、uh, Beijing film schools. They helped him and inspire him to making films, not this one, but also the next, you know, and make him who he is today.、Mm. And actually, in comparison, not so many Taiwanese students helped him as his mainland uh, 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 classmates.、Mm. So it's sometimes maybe in acad academia is still quite free. Hmm. In school, maybe more free. Mm -hmm. Any anyone want to ask? Yes, maybe. I'm from China, and I just want to ask you, um, whether the experience of making such kind of films has changed your、uh, thought about yourself or your thought about the cross-strait relation relations. Or maybe before you made the film. How do you think about yourself、um, in China and Taiwan? <laughs> and after you made the film, is there some are there some、uh, maybe changes? Oh, 
OK， 在在呃拍摄前跟拍摄后，你对于自己的认同，或者是对中国大陆的看法，或者是对台湾的看法，有什么样的转变没有？如果有的话，是什么样的转变？呃，如果说我到到北京算是出国的话，<笑>那。我离开了台湾之后，我对台湾的那个那个认同的意识反而变得更强烈了。哦，这是我在大陆的那几年的感受。但是我刚刚有说，就是嗯，我读书、拍片，或者是所有的创作，几乎全都是我的大陆的同学帮助我的。嗯，那他们也非常的坚支持我，叫我说你就去做你自己觉得。想要追求的那件事情，那所以这是我一当时做创作的一个很重要的一个动力来源。那你说有没有什么改变？其实也许就在创作里面有有所改变。但是我也说不是说不是很上来，但是我觉得我就像。里面的那个、那个、那个卢米的诗一样，呃，里面那那个诗中文是呃，我活于荒诞之存，呃，期望从中找到答案，于是我敲了门，哦，门开了，原来我从里面敲的门。你们看这首诗很有意思，它的。他就说我：“我我生于荒诞之存。其实那荒诞之存对于我而言就是台湾。然后，呃，我努力的从中想要寻求答案，这就是我创作的这个过程。我希望我我其实自以为是的，我在拍认同、拍两岸的题材，我可以找到一个答案。但是最终，我觉得我并不能够找到什么真正对与错，或者是是非的方式。原来我是从里面敲的门。”啊，这首诗，我当我看读到的时候，我立刻就感觉，就是我创作的整个的，整个的感受就是这样子。而很巧的是，我定了这部片的片名叫《我们》，那这首诗的第一个字跟最后一个字就是“我”跟“门”，刚刚好一样。好，所以其实是很好的巧合。你说的是翻译的第一个字跟，但是那是那个门啊，所以是就是呃。就是我自己的创作的感受了。我我这我我希望努力能够做到一些事情，希望能留下一些故事。那随着未来两岸之间的发展，也许十年在二十年之后，呃，可以再回头来看，会有一些不同的感受。你把可不可以把那首诗再放在上面？哦、要不要？嗯、um, ，OK。嗯，哇。This is difficult to uh, translate. Um, okay, I'll, I'll try my best. Um, he said, "If going to Beijing is like going abroad, then people know when you are abroad, your sense of identity are heightened." And he felt exactly the same. Uh, he felt more Taiwanese when you are not in Taiwan, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, when he was in Beijing, he felt uh, whenever he's studying, when he was um, uh, making films, uh, he can sense uh, the support and friend friendship from uh, all these uh, Chinese students, uh, his classmates. They supported him and encouraged him to pursue whatever he wanted to. So he said that's the, uh, the origin of his motivation, that carry on and doing it, um, even when he's wanted or considering giving up. And, uh, and he was saying, uh, how can I say um, my, how, do I, how can I describe my sense of identity uh, before or after uh, 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 the, the film? Um, he said, it's very difficult to describe. I use that poem mm. to, to portray my sense of 
well, absurdity, um, or insanity. The, well, the thing is, for, for Zhong Quan, I think he said, um, within the door, everyone wants to, to see what's behind the door. But actually, it, it, he actually felt that insanity is, uh, um, this, the, this domain of insanity is Taiwan. And he wanted to go out of it. But, um, and he, he realized, before he made the film, um, he probably is too, too naive. Because he, at the beginning, he wanted to find out what is right, what's wrong, what what people really like or 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 not. But he realized he's not sure. Actually, making this film made him know he's not sure, mm -hmm. and he wants to uh, ask you to think about it in ten years or twenty years time. Come back to look at it. Maybe you'll have a totally different take on it. Yeah? Mm-hmm.哦，那个。啊，对，这个题材很有趣，我觉得还是不错。嗯，您刚刚有提到，就是你在那个中视的版本之外，又剪了一个几个版本。嗯，可以请你稍微解释一下，你你为什么还要请另
ROC national flag. So there are so many you, you remember, so <laughs> it's really not worth doing. So eventually he said, oh, no thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right, I think it's about time. Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you very much for <laughs> coming. And uh, we have to uh, uh, thank you for, you know, making this journey here. And tomorrow, Zhong Quan is going to show another his film. It's very different, but I think you will love it because it's really interesting. As if quite long as well. Not as well, longer. And uh, I hope that you enjoy tonight. And can we give Zhong Quan another round of applause? Thank you. Thank you, Bi, very much for your translation. Oh, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you. Yes. Um, outside, there are some uh, uh, sandwiches and, and sandwiches. <laughs> Pablo, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> and please uh, help yourself and, and enjoy more stimulating talks with Zhongquan.